Hello. <laughs> I uh, wasn't expecting you. Boys and girls? Was. Because, like, I told you it was here. I at least expected four of you to turn up. That would have been nice. But if four of you turn up, that's nice. If those four people comment, that's just bloody lovely. Boys and girls, it's a franchise. Um, I'm going to do a post now, what I was supposed to do last week. But I took bad again last week. Like, I'm just having a bad time at the minute. General health in the old downward spiral. Just run down. Just beat up. So, why not do it now? Why not do it now? If you'd watched any of the videos last week, and I know some of you did, because it was a competition, that tends to bring out people from all walks of life. Just like, that's what we need. World peace. Just free shit. Free shit brings people together. Just give people free shit. People didn't even know, and they're there. Because everybody, everybody loves free shit. I wanted to do a post about originality. Now I've already done one, like, a long, long time ago. Probably before 90% of the people watching this even knew the blog was there. Like, it got read by about, what, 30 people? Tops? 27 of those were me, <laughs> doing edits. Just, just excited to get a post out. It was just fucking the worst Grammy I've ever seen. Like, 56 word sentences. No, it started, right, because I was looking through me first draft of the 2013 games list, did a post on it, you've probably see, you, I say you've probably seen it, I'm going to go on the assumption that you've probably seen it, I'm going to go on the assumption <laughs> that I'm talking to more than just myself, me mum, who are like forced to watch it, sit down, watch me, watch me, you're not laughing, no like people who saw it, so I, like I did a sort of gaming in, in 2013, it's like my initial games list. And I was just looking through it again, just like checking what's coming out this month, because we've got a pretty busy month this month. You've got like Dead Space 3, uh, Aliens, Colonial Marines, Crisis 3, Bioshock Infinite, all in sort of February, unless any of those have been put back. And I missed it while I've been bedridden. Not like the good kind of bedridden either. The good kind of bedridden. <laughs> those were the day. Ah, but I got looking through the list, and it's like a pattern started to emerge. Like, Sniper Ghost Warrior 2, Dead Space 3, Crisis 3, fucking Ga Grand Theft Auto 5, Gaze of War's got another game coming out, Dark Souls 2. Like, there's a lot of... a lot of sequels this year are gonna be big. And, like, it just got us, got, got us thinking. Got us thinking about originality. Like, what happened to originality? What happened in the days when you could bring a game out and it was original and it was new and it was fresh and nobody had done it before or you hadn't done it before and it performed well like that's a rarity now that's like rock and horse shit that's like finding a uh, albeit slightly camp straight man who likes Taylor Swift in one direction <laughs> moving on moving now it just seems like originality sort of Originality's taking a back seat to <sighs> familiarity. Is that the word I'm thinking of? You, you do get a good game, right? I'm not going to say you should never have a sequel. I mean, look at the likes of the Mass Effect and Gaze of War games and things like that. They deserved sequels because it was, it was always planned to be a saga. But then you get games like Sniper Ghost Warrior, for example. That's not even a good game. That did really well, when it really should. I know there's people out there who liked Sniper Ghost Warrior, and as a game, it was alright. It was basic as shit, but it was alright. Like, why did that do so well? Why did that do so well when you've got games, it's like Binary Domain? Nobody bought Binary Domain. Like, the four people that bought Binary Domain said it was fucking amazing. It didn't, it didn't do well. Like, that was... That was originality, that was a new story. That was, aye, you're not going to get a lot of original sort of genres nowadays. So it was essentially a cover shooter with like a moral system in place. But still it was, it was an original story. Sort of an original, t like an original take on, on that sort of genre. But it didn't do well. You've got games like Sniper Ghost Warrior 2, because Sniper Ghost Warrior did so well. That bought the sequel. Like the publishers demand a sequel when something does that well. And it's like, why? Where's the originality? Where's the drive to do something new? Gears of War 1? When Gears of War 1 came out, like, fucking... 
that defined a generation, a console generation. It did. You cannot argue that ge that point. Gaze of War was phenomenal. The Gaze of War deserved a sequel on a monetary worth, and because it was always planned to be like a trilogy. I don't know what judgment is. A judgment sort of like. So we've got uh, we've got a few months to wait before the next generation of console. What should we do? What shall we do? Well, maybe we could sit here drinking coffee, but uh, we've got time to make another Gears of War game, right? Yeah, yeah. Cliffy B could use another landing. No, I know he's left Epic now, but I, I don't doubt he'll have some sort of payoff. Like last year, not only did we see like it, it didn't start last year, but last year there was a little, it was very sequel heavy last year, but like. Last couple of years, we've also saw the reboot, and, and is it a reboot or is it a rehash? Because it's like games that used to be amazing on generations past Xbox, PlayStation Two, like just ah, we'll, we'll just fuck it, put a lick of HD paint on them, we'll bundle them all up, and we'll sell them. Like how many HD collections did the rounds? Metal Gear HD collection without Metal Gear One, <laughs> that still puzzles me to this day. And Metal Gear 1 made it what it was. Without Metal Gear 1, like, I'm not talking the original Metal Gear on the NES. The NES? The NES? Yeah, I'm cool, I call it the NES. That, there wouldn't have been any other Metal Gears, but like, the first Metal Gear on the PlayStation, PlayStation 1, where you had like, no face. Just a fucking ominous pink blob with like, black smears. Don't put your makeup on in the dark. Don't put your makeup on in the dark. Black smudges for eyes and just like a pink shape as a face. Like that was a phenomenal game and that's not in the Metal Gear HD collection. I don't f what's the crap with that? Silent Hill? Silent Hill HD collection? Includes Silent Hill 2, Inner Fears and Silent Hill 3. That's not a collection. That's the sequels to arguably the best one of the three. Well, I don't know, Silent Hill 2 was pretty fucking amazing. Like, but like, what do you not put one in there for? On Metal Gear 1? Is it license and rights? Google would probably tell us if I was bothered to look. You've got like that HD rehash where it's just literally I can't be bothered to do anything original let's just package all these others up, lick them with HD paint, make them look nice and shiny possibly a little bit shiny and still still quite dated at times. Tomb Raider collection fucking Shadow of the Colossus got a HD collection? Shadow of the Colossus didn't need to be HD. Shadow of the Colossus should still sell now like the PlayStation 2 version without being HD that's how good that game was. That was original. That Who came up with that? Just like, alright, you're a guy, you've got a horse, you've got a sword. Yeah, I'm on board, I'm on board. What do you fight? Uh, nothing, really. Just these seven really fucking big things. What about little things? No. No. Just these huge things. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't sound like it would work, but... We'll run with this one. The game was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Original and phenomenal. Like, even that got HD'd. So you had your HD rehash. And then there's the, the reboot. You've got the reboot, like Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry got the reboot. And a phenomenal one at that. Like, whether that is, as mentioned by uh, in another post, an anomaly or not. Who knows. But, XCOM. XCOM got a reboot after this whole ridiculous first person shooter XCOM. Who wants that? Who wants that? I don't need that. True XCOM fans don't want an XCOM first person shooter. Like, ugh. Call of Duty's to blame for that. XCOM was always the strategy game, the, the top down strategy game, where you had like time units for your men and it was a proper little fucking strategic battle. Like placing your men where you want, keeping your snipers at the back, getting your fucking heavy armour in, <laughs> not just making the rookie mistake of rolling out the ultimate destructive force, just the most expensive armour and weapons and tanks, and just keep them tightly packed and just say, right, I'm just going to move this unit just across the map, just until I bump into things, and then all of them will just take it out, and then you just roll it out in the middle of the street, and then it's just a fucking sectoid, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking all dead, <laughs> all dead, ah, Made that mistake more than once as well. You think you don't make that mistake more than once, but I'm like, no, no. Let's try that again. Let's see if the little bastard can do that twice. <laughs> Too easy, punk. Even spread into like movies. 
like if movies now get remade like obviously you do still have a lot of originality in movies but like look at like Batman I'm glad that did get rebooted like because the like Christian Bale Batman's are phenomenal you want a Bane mask as well like I remember the bay used to just operate your day-to-day -day life wearing a Bane mask you know I've got a Batman mask you've seen the Batman mask I'm not gonna put it on now but like what around with a Bane mask on yes six chicken nuggets no still Fanta yes it should be amazing just like why have I not bought one of them already Hello, eBay. Games like uh, The Last of Us, that, that PlayStation exclusive, that's what I'm talking about, that sort of originality, that, like, and that's a PlayStation exclusive, so that's a bit of a kick in the balls to the Xbox, but like, we need more of that. Like, Naughty Dog are leading the way at the minute for me, because uh, like, I can't think of another game this year. Actually, I'll check my list. Is there anything coming out? Watch Dogs, that'll not come out this year, that'll be like next gen console, it probably will come out on this gen, but it'll not be anywhere near as spectacular as it would on the next gen, but Watch Dogs, that's the sort of originality I'm after, that's the sort of originality I'm looking for, like nobody's doing it anymore, the Tomb Raider reboot, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, like, I don't know, I'm hoping that this new Kickstarter era, this Kickstarter generation of like indie developers, and now like like THQ and Atari and people like that folded. Like there's going to be a lot of people without a job, and there's going to be some great minds who are going to come together, and maybe form new studios or go down the the Kickstarter like indie route, and maybe bring back originality. I'm all four sequels, just sometimes, sometimes they do a little bit better than they deserve to. Some games don't need sequels. Like get them anyway, and some games need sequels and don't get them. Like Enslaved, how amazing was Enslaved? Nobody bought that either. That was a bit of an old one, like. But like, I don't know. I just wanted to rant, and you're there, always listening, for the first three minutes of the video, and then inevitably you get bored, and I'm talking to myself, and my mother, and she's not laughing. She's not laughing. You are. That's me done. I've had a rant. I feel a bit better now. Just had a good rant. I'd love to know your opinions as well. So just chuck them in the comments. YouTube, the blog, wherever. Just whack them in the comments. Am I talking shit? Have I got a point? Have you got anything you want to add to it? Might as well. <laughs> like, you can be guaranteed that I will listen to you. <laughs> I have no such guarantee. I'm going to wrap it up there. So, uh, boys and girls, until next time. Later.